are you finding the expo? Love the expo. I get to walk around in a tutu all day. <laughs> really good. Really informative. It was nice to see different people in the southwest area. It's been great. It's our first expo actually, but I've found it to be really, um, really good. I can't believe the amount of people that have come through. All right, we are at the Southwest Sydney Disability Expo. Today we're going to go around and interview some providers. We're also going to see how many people know what the number one podcast is in the not-for-profit and community services space on Apple Podcasts. All right, let's go, let's go. <laughs> no, we haven't. That is a joke. So, uh, Erica, tell us a little bit about you and Advanced Disability Services. So ADSR has been around since 2018, family run business, we put our participants first, we try and work out what we can do to help them. So for example, if they love our day program, we'll pick them up, bring them to day program. They need a home away from home, our stunning house at Glenmore Park, mm. with accessible bedrooms, bathrooms, and then we have our teams who go out and do Easter show, the football, you name it. Amazing! We'll do it. They're an accommodation provider, so we do SIL, SDA and respite. So our background, I guess, coming from an out-of-home care background, working with children um, who have experienced trauma, um, is what we really um, specify and, and particularly work well in. Mm. Um, also, just, just children in general with various disabilities, autism and things like that. So we're really about bringing the best out of kids and building their confidence and resilience so that they can really enjoy life and, and you know, just grab it and take it on. We do allied health services, 10 different disciplines, all under the one roof and we're a national organisation. Amazing. We have lots and lots of clinicians, over 500. Um, and half of those speak a second language. Ooh, yeah, which is that's a nice uniqueness. Yes, very good. I'm seeing on the sign it says speech pathology. Now, surely, surely, you can't have availability with speeches. No one does. Is this the only place that has speechy availability in the country? So we are joined by Trina and we have just given them the messiest desk award. <laughs> no, we haven't. That is a joke. So Trina, tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and what it is that you do. Okay, so I'm the Customer Engagement Manager for Challenge Community Services. Uh, what we do is we're a non-for-profit. We've been around the New South Wales and Queensland areas for about 65 years. We were started as an organisation by a group of parents who wanted to their kids basically just to have better services. Uh, we're predominantly in the, a lot of the regional areas, uh, but we do have sites in the southwest Sydney. We have foster care, disability, allied health, and business services across New South Wales. So yeah, and you guys specialise in complex behaviours, right? So we specialise, it it just depending on the area really, mm. so what we do is we match our participants with uh, like the compatibility mm. and really try and ensure that they're getting everything they need, their house is a home, mm. um, so yeah, so it's just it just comes down to the participant yeah. at the end of the day. Perfect. How do we pronounce... Do you want to give it a go? It's a qualus? Yeah, that's it, aqualus. Yeah. You didn't even need to ask a question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about what it is that you guys do here. So we do a lot of core and capacity building support. So we provide support workers to assist either at a one-to-one -one or a one-to-two ratio, depending on what people's needs are. Yep. And then support can be out in the community. So if they need to access appointments, if they need to access social or recreational activities, or if they just need help at home. So going through their daily routine, it might be writing a grocery list, taking them to go and do the groceries, coming home and cooking for the week. So it's very flexible, depending on what people need. No, that's awesome. Um, and I saw this, the, the social program. So is that a sort of, is that a, a day program? Is there, there no centralising? Is it a group group activity, community activity? At the moment, we've got two programs running. So we've got the Friday afternoon, which is a social group. So it's for young people to access recreational activities in a group. Yeah. And then we've got a Tuesday program, which is focused for teenage boys. And the idea is for them to learn independent living skills. Amazing. Sounds like something I need. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Uh, I'm Karen Deep, Inside Care. We're a registered NDIS provider right behind you guys. So we're a support provider. Uh, we do drop-in supports. We have still accommodations in Kingswood. Um, we got our medium-term accommodation across the road from the Pean. Um, we do STA in Lake Tugra, so if you guys want to go to the lake sometime. Yeah. Nice. Do you have jet skis? Pardon? Jet skis? We do have jet skis as well. Yeah. They've got jet skis. That's all you need, jet skis. We are at 
at the support services for NDIS and aged care team tent uh, and you guys are just down the road in Liverpool so tell us a little bit about what it is that you guys offer. All right well basically we are an NDIS registered provider and we also provide aged care services uh, for the community. Uh, we basically do pretty much everything from support services, community access, self-care, uh, coordination, transport, uh, yeah. Amazing! And what's been your oh yes, you want to say oh he yeah. wants to say well, something now. <laughs> well, we got over 130 support workers. They're Amazing. all qualified. Uh, they speak over six different languages. Okay, what does qualified mean to you? Oh well, we, they got all kind of certificates that could support brain injury, high need people, challenge people, uh, kids, uh, adult, women's, men sleep, or anything, any all kind. And we got groups of that group specialized for that kind, that group specialized for this. Also, we do community access, self-care, um, uh, um, domestic assistance, group activities, a lot of uh, trips and things like that, activities full of them. Do you think that Expo is valuable for your business? Oh, it's very valuable. We've been posting all about this social media and Impact Institute all day and yesterday because it's events like these where not everyone can like come to these things but they can see it online. So that's why uh, online and putting together these events for like one day on a weekday and one day on a weekend, everyone can make it and everyone can at least try and make an effort to come Amazing. because it's better for everyone else to connect in that way. And I find it very, very like uh, inspiring that everyone is here. Like there's so many people here yeah. and you wouldn't know all these people can do all these things unless you've actually gone and spoke to them. Yeah, I love like, that. You've seen their ads everywhere and like their names everywhere when you go past a certain area and whatever and you don't know what they can do unless you actually go and speak to them and yeah. they're all really nice and everyone here is really friendly yeah. and everyone here has the same mission which is just to help people <laughs> which is really good. Yeah absolutely couldn't agree more. I am at Alara Support Services. Now, who? Hey guys nice to nice to meet you my name's Chris. Chris lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you what's your name? My name's Rachel. Rachel, and how are you so famous? Why is there your face on the poster there? I, I don't know if you know, but I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> You're a big deal? I, I co-host to provide a playbook, the number one uh, podcast in the NDIS sector. You don't even heard of me? Never, never. <laughs> and, and that can't be true, because I'm a co-host on the number one podcast in the NDIS sector. What would you say is the number one podcast in the sector? <laughs> Provide a playbook. <laughs> I'm not talking about NDIS Ninja. <laughs> and I know it's filmed at Bella Vista sometimes. Enough. We'll take it. Yours. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even know the name. <laughs> Perfect. What is the number one NDIS podcast? Um, I actually know. You are the NDIS Ninja. <laughs> no. Do you know what the number one podcast in the sector is? Is it Ninja? Guys, do you know what the number one podcast in the sector is? Number one on Apple for not profit industry. <laughs> It's the NDIS provider playbook! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I've, seen, I've met you before! I've seen you before! No way! Tell me a little bit about what it is you guys do. So, we do supported independent living. So, we provide all um, in-home support. We work very closely with My Life Housing, who are the SDA provider. And we have sites all over from Penrith, Wollongong, Illawarra region, Lidcombe, Liverpool, and we've just opened up in Bathurst as well. So this is our newest hire, Lauren. Let's put her on the spot. Be Lauren, yes. how long have you been employed with Alara, Lauren? Three weeks, I think. Oh, that's plenty of time. And you haven't been on camera yet? <laughs> Look how much sushi I bought for everybody and no one ate any of it. I'm really annoyed about that. It's not that, it's, it's an inconvenience. So what's your favorite thing about working at Alara? It has to be all of these ladies that I work with. They're all super supportive. It's a fun place to work, but they have good morals and good standards. Uh, you have been here since day one, haven't you? I have, yes. So how did that even start? She pushed me. <laughs> Wait, so who started working with you first? Me or her? Before. Oh, you're even more OG than I'm me. More OG than you. Um, I guess what's the most fun you've had or what's the most rewarding part of Alara growing? Has, has that been for you? The impact. The impact it's made to our participants, to the community, to the people that we've hired, as you said, they're very, they're all cherry picked, um, you know, and they're all there for a purpose and, and that purpose aligns with Alara. Uh, and what is the worst, worst thing that Rachel does that annoys you? I don't even 
don't know. Do you want me to start? All right, yeah, so yeah. make what, it easy. All right. The w- most annoying thing is when she calls you, if you miss it, you'll call her back literally 15 seconds later, boom, no, can't oh, get on her no, no, for three she, hours. She like, you miss out, it's your fault. So what's the thing that annoys you the most? Oh yeah, I think definitely <laughs> definitely that you can see her brain ticking and you're a bit scared about what's about to happen. <laughs> that, you one idea and then another idea pops up and you're yeah. like, I can't keep up. Have you, do you have ADHD, Rach? Uh, I'm diagnosed for sure. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a good time down here at the expo. You won best booth, best dress Baby. booth. Yeah, best booth, best people, best service, best everything. <laughs> well, we won weeks ago, number one podcast in the NDIS sector. But is there anything we don't win? Not. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's been your favourite part of the expo so far? Oh, you know, hands down, it's me just talking to everybody. I love chatting with anybody and anybody who will have five minutes with me. It's so nice to see that, you know, people want to, you know, grow and learn in our space, in our sector and want to know more. So I think... Um, We need to do more, Chris. We need to do more and we need to do better. Yeah. What's been your favourite thing, Chris? My favourite thing is not that I have a ego or anything, but but definitely uh, walking around everyone being like, I do know you though, like I actually know you. So, no, I think uh, we've had a lot of fun. Um, A question I keep getting asked, so last one, promise this is a wrap, is when are you going to start doing some stuff on YouTube? Everyone's asking, when's Rachel's stuff coming? No one's asking except for Chris, I can assure you. I've had three people. (laughs) When I've got time. You know, do I have time, girls? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back, wrong answer. Wrong answer. Yeah, soon, Chris, soon. All right, excellent, guys. That is a wrap from the Southwest Sydney Disability Expo. We've had a great time. We look forward to seeing you next time.